And what did you make of that match overall? Yeah, I thought we were flat tonight. We, uh, we looked like a team that had been on the road for a week, you know, two long journeys, and we just didn't quite have that spark. Um, I think we lacked a bit of quality in possession, which uh, we don't usually say about this group. We've got good quality in the, in the squad, and, and we've probably lost the second ball game. So um, did ever so well to get, get back in the game with a, with a fantastic goal from Latte, um, and then disappointing to concede the second goal. Sure, you give credit to the opposition there. They haven't lost away since August, and they look well drilled. Yeah, they're a good side. They move the ball well. They've got good legs in the team. Um, they look fresher than us tonight. Um, and there's a reason why they're sat in the playoffs. So um, well done to them and their coaching staff and the players. Um, but we were flat tonight and we, and we couldn't quite match them. Are you envious of the, the fact that Chester got what I call a goal poacher? Because I'm sure, you know, that's his 24th, I think, Kurt Willoughby. That's the sort of player that Hereford needed, surely. Yeah, he's a threat and he's more than a goal scorer as well. You know, he ran the channels well. Um, he was a constant nuisance to our centre halves. and. On the whole, I thought they dealt with him. Um, but yeah, that's always that's been an Achilles heel for us all season, is that that person that's going to get us 15, 20 goals. So um, hopefully we can address that going forward. Encouraging signs in the fact that you've still created a few chances, although you felt we were below par. Yeah, look, um, we've got good athleticism in the team, good pace. So we're always going to be a danger um, on the counter or, or when we're building up. So yeah, Latty's taken his goal ever so well. We've challenged our fullbacks to get forward and, and create more and score more for us. And he's done that tonight. Um, and he was the spark that, that got us going again and got the crowd lifted. Um, but unfortunately, we've been undone by a poor line, linesman decision where the ball doesn't go out of play. We've just seen it on the video. Um, and then we've defended the set play very, very poorly. Is it a question of switching off and still arguing with the officials rather than facing up to the corner? No, unfortunately, it's just poor technical quality in terms of the clearance. Um, so unfortunately, we've, we've, we've gone to clear the ball and swiped at it rather than settling ourselves and concentrating on a good, good foot to ball contact. Uh, unfortunately it's fallen to their lad and then we vacated an area which we should be occupying in the box uh, and the lad taps the rebound in. Did you feel you could be a little bit more positive in the last four minutes with added time to go to send someone forward because the crowd were getting a bit agitated? Yeah we've spoken about that in, in the changing room after. Um, we felt we needed to get the ball forward quicker uh, and get more bodies forward quicker as well so that's something that the, that group will learn from and, and we'll, we'll show them that on the video. Um, I think it's a case of sometimes don't show for the ball um, and give the, the, the goal kickers the opportunity to play short. Everyone squeeze up the pitch and, and play, play for territory. Kettering at the weekend, they'll be again one of those hard-nosed teams that tend to play the National League North. They're just about above the relegation zone. Um, tough encounter with a different challenge. Yeah, like I said, they're, they're a side and, and the style they play we've come up before. Um, so we have to be brave enough to play our game. Um, we have to get back to moving more quickly uh, and sharply and switch and play to try and create overloads in wide areas. Um, that was what was lacking this evening. A couple of times that we did that, we created very good chances. So we know that we have to win the physical battle first against teams like Kettering, uh, and then hopefully we can get our style, uh, style of play going. And you were handed the interim manager's role now until the end of the season. Uh, how do you gauge that? How does it feel to be given that responsibility? Yeah, privileged, very proud of that. I um, want to thank the, the board and the club for, for trusting me to, to look after it until the end of the season. And would like to thank the fans for, for their support and, and their support throughout the whole season they've been, they've been magnificent and, and please stick with us uh, we'll try to respond as we did when we lost here against Curzon um, by, by trying to win on Saturday and, and turn our home form around You made reference to an assistant manager is, how imminent is that how close are you to bring, bringing someone in even if it is short term Yeah hopefully that should be announced later in the week Thanks very much for your time You're welcome yeah, What's the, the goal between now and the end of the season um, for yourself and your team? Yeah, look, I, th I think the, the goal is the same, it's to try and finish as high as in the division as possible. Um, we know we need more consistency, um, we know our, our home form needs to be a lot better. Um, we tend to be play a bit more freedom away from home, so we've got to look at that as a staff and as a, and as a group and, and try and you know, put our finger on why that is uh, and then try and execute what we're asking to execute uh, to, to, to get those three points here. And can you bring in any players that you want here um, between then and the end of the season or have you stuck with the sort of squad you've got? Yeah, I mean, look, it's, uh, that's a question I need to ask the board. Um, but I think at any football club, if you're looking to bring the right player in, um, then the club, um, I'm sure, will, will support us in that. Okay. A lonely striker, is he staying or going? No, he's like, gone back. He his, gone yeah, back. his uh, Collins loan finished uh, at the weekend. Um, and obviously, we've had the return of, of Miles uh, and, and Tyrone. So um, we would like to thank Colin for his efforts at the football club and thank Salford. Um, you know, he did, he did a good job for us in the, in the period where we lacked forward players, um, but unfortunately his, his opportunity is probably limited at the moment.